There are roughly 270 small towns and communities with populations up to 1,000 residents scattered across Israel. You know them as a kibbutz, an agricultural hub that provides a societal norm unique to Israel. Many of them lost their sense of security when it was shattered by the recent terror attacks. When you see a person uh, walking with uh, AK-47 between homes filled with uh, children and infants, uh, sleeping in their beds. We need to make sure that our communities are protected. GoPro footage of Hamas gunmen attacking Israelis on October 7th shocked the world. As news of the terror spread, it triggered an effort among Americans to provide protective gear for vulnerable communities. Our intentions is to help protect life, and that's why we're focusing on protective gear. Tal is a former IDF soldier and Israeli-American living in Atlanta, leading the effort. He hopes to raise $20,000 for protective gear like bulletproof vests, helmets, and other safety equipment to strengthen security of roughly 60 communities in northern Israel. Fires tend to be a big problem once one rockets fail, fall anywhere, if it's agriculture areas or open areas. The first nine, ten days of the war, we've, we've actually transferred over $30 million. According to Rabbi Weil, the U.S.-based nonprofit Friends of Israel Defense Forces uses donations and grants to help support soldiers by providing supplies like hygiene kits, plasma, field hospitals, and much more. We believe there'll be four phases. Phase one is about $62, $63 million. That's just to cover the basic emergency medical equipment. As part of those upcoming phases, Weil says millions of dollars will go towards physical and emotional therapies for both soldiers and bereaved families. Amid a possible ground invasion of Gaza and with multiple enemies, supporters emphasize the importance of firmly standing with those defending Israel. But it's not just Israel these young men and women are defending. Because if Israel falls, their next goal is Sunni Islam. They'll take over Mecca, take over Medina, the holy sites of Islam. But their ultimate goal, what they refer to in their terminology as the great Satan, their ultimate goal is Western civilization. But also for her, any person that sees that country, or specifically Jerusalem, as a place that is sacred and needs to be accessible, and uh, we are willing to fight to protect it. Brody Carter, CBN News.